Now I'd like to make a few comments about uh, the work material uh, stock. As I said earlier, most of our work is done in mild steel, uh, 10 to uh, 18 gauge. We do some uh, copper work. You can get the copper uh, scrap uh, inexpensively from uh, a local roofer. It's 20 gauge. And uh, then we have work some 12 gauge uh, copper and uh, some bronze. This uh, welcome sign uh, is an example of a mixed uh, metal sort of mixed motif uh, piece that we did uh, in the uh, 20 gauge uh, copper. Uh, the proponents of my work were, say, 20-gauge copper. They really wouldn't need a hammerhead this heavy. The uh, stock hammers uh, can be purchased uh, between 17 and uh, 25 pounds. Actually, it could be made heavier than 25 by pouring more lead into the head. <clears throat> or there's a uh, option for uh, inserting a two-inch round uh, bar of various lengths to uh, vary the hammerhead weight. But if one were working soft material all the time, lighter hammerhead weight might be uh, of some value. To uh, do uh, some work with uh, thicker material, uh, this is a 10-gauge mild steel, and it's a little too thick uh, for the usual sorts of chasing rapace type work. So basically it's just going to be a chisel and chase uh, design where all the image is going to be developed from the front side. This is 3 8 uh, inch thick mild steel. It'll be a bookend eventually and uh, the image again will be developed uh, just working from the front side with chisel and chase uh, technique. Same thing with uh, a quarter inch thick bronze plate uh, which will be a sunflower uh, coaster all work from the front. This is a piece, uh, it's actually a little box lid that's just started to be a uh, basket weave type pattern that's done in the 10 gauge copper. And this is a uh, little box that I made to hold our uh, business cards. It has our uh, persimmon logo on there. Uh, the Chisel and chase work on the front was all done cold with the pedal hammer. And then when it came time to give it the volume, I heated this with a torch, turned it uh, upside down over an open vise, and worked it down uh, with the ball peen. So we do a combination of uh, techniques, uh, some hot, some cold, and uh, use this uh, as just one of uh, a number of tools that uh, are useful. Now, the, the amount of clearance between the anvil and the uh, drive shaft allow uh, me to work a pretty large piece of uh, material. This is a, about the upper limit. Um, this is going to be a little tabletop. It'll have a, kind of a water plant uh, scene on it. And it takes a little ingenuity of shifting the thing around and and uh, fiddling with it, but it can be done. And I actually did this uh, piece uh, just to uh, demonstrate to myself uh, how difficult or easy uh, it would be to work a piece of this dimension. I have uh, a plan to make uh, myself four toolboxes, which I'm going to use to uh, uh, tr transport uh, materials in my truck. This is uh, an almost finished uh, lid with the uh, autumn leaves uh, concept. Over cap oak and uh, northern red oak. I'll uh, use each of the lids to demonstrate uh, some of the different uh, ways the pedal hammer can be used. This uh, Celtic knot uh, with the copper backing still has a fair amount of work to go on it but it uh, gives you the idea of the uh, cold cutting uh, capability. 
this uh, cornucopia <clears throat> will be sort of a medium high relief piece as opposed to the rather low relief that were in the autumn leaves. And I'll probably have a gilder's paste uh, applied uh, to the uh, corn of plenty and the, and the fruit. And the fourth lid is um, sort of a tribute to Francis Whitaker. Um, this is a photograph taken of one of the last pieces that he forged, a uh, split cross, at the Rocky Mountain Smiths Conference uh, in Carbondale, Colorado, 1996. And uh, of course, this is his logo. That was the only time I ever got to meet and visit with Francis. Well, there may be uh, other uses for the pedal hammer than metal working. I played a little bit with uh, leather stamping and even tried a little bit of uh, wood carving and stone carving, but I'm going to leave that up to others to figure out. At uh, Persimmon Forge, I use all the usual uh, blacksmithing tools and accoutrements. We use the coal forge and the gas forge and the little giant 50-pound uh, power hammer and the treadle hammer and a variety of anvils and vices, top and bottom tools and everything. This is just another tool. It does seem to fill a nice uh, niche uh, in the kind of work that we do. And uh, in our hot, humid Kansas summers, it's nice to have uh, plenty of work that can be done cold. You can turn on the AC. You don't have to do any forging when it's hot and uh, miserable. I hope uh, it is something that other people will find useful. We do uh, make ourselves available to do a training for people who are willing to travel to, to Emporia. If they buy a hammer, then I'd be happy to spend the time with them. Otherwise, I hope the, the uh, DVD presentation that we've uh, filmed today will be uh, uh, useful to some people. Thank you.